So, I've been contemplating the end of Cosmic League for a while now. Clearly, it's just the English version just shutting down. It's not like the game's going away forever. It's just the English one's disappearing. But at the same time, it's like all the hard work you put into. Like, for those of you who did put hard work in, for those of you who didn't. All the work you put in. All the effort you put in. All the battles you won. All the battles you lost. For all of it just to disappear is kind of sad. It's kind of irritating a little bit but that's that's just the case when servers shut down you can't always protect what you want forever sometimes things have to shut down sometimes money is money sometimes people don't have the money to keep things running that's just how things are so instead of sitting here and making a sad video saying oh it's such a shame that cosmic break is disappearing or cosmic league cosmic break 2 or whatever the heck the game is called i'm gonna make this video talking about the positive aspects of cosmic league and trust me, there are a couple of good ones. So if you sit down and relax, I'm gonna let you see some really cool stuff. The first positive aspect that comes to mind is whenever you would talk to the characters in the lobby, sometimes animated cutscenes or animated sprites would show up when you're talking to them. I thought that was a really cool feature of Cosmic League and Cosmic Break 2. It was something really cool that Cosmic Break, the original, didn't really do as much. Another thing I liked was whenever you started the game, you actually had a proper introduction. You were taught what to do from the get-go when you start. Cosmic League, I mean Cosmic Break sort of did that, but not in the best way. I like Cosmic League because it was a little more intuitive. Another thing I really, really enjoyed was Cosmic Break's world itself. The world itself was amazing. It's just the way it was rendered, the way it was created, the way everything. I wouldn't be even surprised if the game run on Unity. It looks like it was running on Unity or something far more advanced. Like it makes Cosmic League's world look great, and which is one of the most positive aspects I can say about this game. One irritating aspect I didn't like about Cosmic League is you ca you couldn't build robots from scratch. You had to get them pre-built, and that was the only way you could customize them. The item system in the game was pretty well done. It's the same old, same old. One thing is, whenever you leveled up a robot, you had to use these pyramid items, these weird item things, which I found kind of odd and weird. I know sometimes in the game you were able to, after you did certain missions, you were able to unlock different voices, and I thought that was pretty cool and very well imp implemented. I remember doing uh, Raina's mission and Raina gave me uh, her her voice after uh, completing her trial, which was, her trial was difficult. That was one difficult thing I didn't like, but well, not di didn't like, I liked it. It was very, I really did like it. It's very difficult. The menu system in the game is pretty good. It's just, it's kind of more, a little more intuitive than CB's, but I liked it. I liked the way it is. Another positive aspect I liked about CB2 is whenever you got a, a rare bot, it'd give you metal, like Oka. I love that it gave you a bot and it lets you show a little bit of the concept art, which I would love to send, see more of it, but this is basically what you got. Because I really love the concept art and idea of getting concept art after you obtain a robot. Another thing is the uh, the shape system where you can create um, effects. Basically, you just scroll through this list and click different things and create different effects. You, it basically works like it was basically the tuning system, but you were able to do it in your garage instead of going out and doing it somewhere else. Another thing is the title system, the title, where you could just apply different titles. I thought that was cool. You could be Criminal Lowe's friend, Cosmic Breaker, and all that. I think the part system is nothing too special. You, you, like I said before, you can't build robots. You had to make them. You make parts, but you couldn't really make robots from scratch you had to buy the robots pre-built and then customize that robot like that which was a which is a big flaw in my eyes but i got over it something that i love that i always make jokes about is in cb2 you were able to customize your bots if they're females their hair which i love that obviously you see up screen you see my silver rose, which obviously it's just my it's just rose with a silver haircut which i liked it that's why i refer to her as silver rose and i thought that was a really cool aspect that i wish original cb would have implemented first Again, adding cartridges and effects were super easy. Unlike original CB, you could just apply effect, change effect, add an effect, and just change it out. It was that simple. It's just, oh, you want this effect? Click it in. You don't want this effect? Take it out. It was very simple. And that's something I wish 
CB would have thought up before Cosmic League because dang, that would have been awesome if we could just click effects and add effects. But Cosmic League did that very well, and I really did like how Cosmic League implemented this system. It was very useful. Now, I know in the beginning I already gushed about this world, but let me gush about it a little bit more. Because if you just look at the background, you see that you're in space, and you see the planet Earth, and it's just... I would just get lost playing this game and looking at the world. The world is so well made. It's well implemented and well created. Some people might think it's just simple and boring. I think it's very well made, and I like looking at it. It's just appealing to the eye. Now, another feature I don't think people used too much was the quest feature. Now, if you didn't know, before you, let's say you're waiting for a battle and you didn't want to wait for a battle. They implemented this quest feature, so while you're waiting for a battle, you could go into a quest and punch a bunch of bad guys while you're waiting for your mission to start, or your quest, or your, or your battle, or your legion. It was really cool. It's like, so, because we all know CB2 has a very bad wait time when it comes to getting a battle. Like, it's astronomically the worst thing ever. So I like that they implemented this so you could have something that you could smack your enemies while you're waiting for a battle. It was something I really thought was was really cool. It's just like, because they knew that the game took forever to load a battle. So they thought, okay, you know what? Here, come in, go into the quest mode while you're waiting for a battle and you can do a quest while you're waiting to go into, into your league battle, which I thought was, was a stroke of genius. When I first saw it, I was like, Wow, that's really amazing. But I don't know if I don't know how many people actually used it because I don't remember them pushing very many events for it. But I don't remember people using it too much. And I thought it was like, wow, just amazing. It's just like, mm, that's pretty good actually. You could wait for your battles. You wait for your battle, and you can smash foes at the same time. It's just pretty well done. I mean, that that's all that I can really say about it. It's just well implemented. Now on to the most controversial subject, the battle system. Now the thing about the Cosmic League's battle system, it's not like CB's, and that's a good and a bad thing, because what they wanted to do with this is they wanted to turn the game into a kind of like a tower defense game, because in this system, there's two ways you can win the game. One, by smashing your foes, or two, by taking out the enemy's tower. And I thought that this is a pretty well implemented way to make the, to balance out the game, to make it different. Because if you played original CB, you know for a fact that people could kill you with one strike. Now, I at first, and if you watch my earlier playthroughs, I would always gripe about that. But now that I played the game and actually know how to play the game correctly, I like that. Because if you played original CB, you know fools can destroy you with one slap. And one thing is, whenever you want to power up your tower, you just have to go around your tower and it powers it up. And I thought that's pretty well, that, that's pretty good. It's very good, it's different, and it won't, it gives you a different way of winning the battle. It doesn't, it's so that if you're fighting a strong opponent, you can still win the battle in theory. Now, in practice, did it actually work? I mean, you can be the judge of that. But in my opinion, it was very well made and very well done. And I liked, it, liked what they wanted to do with it. It was just something that they thought they want it to balance out because they know that in battle people were getting killed in one strike and people getting pushed in the corners in the original CB and that wasn't fun for everybody. I mean, unless you're the one doing it. I mean, if you're the one doing it, then <laughs> it's fun. But if you're not, if you're the one being pushed in the corner, it's not fun. Another thing is, that's another thing about that is they kind of limited the, like you had a wait time between your attacks, which is why they did that because you know, like I said, people could push you in a corner and they can re repeatedly beat you where you couldn't get out of it. So they did that so so you couldn't push people in the corners and beat the crap out of them. Because if you played original CV, people were doing that to you, and unless you're the one doing it, it wasn't fun for you. You, you it'd be very, it's very irritating, but it'd be funny if you're doing it to somebody else. But if it's done to you, it's not fun. It really is not fun. It's kind of irritating. I'm not lying, it's, it's kind of irritating. Now, talking about the store system, it's nothing too special, it's just basically the same old store, just revamped. It's, just, it's like the same thing about CB, just revamped. You can go in there, there's thousands of different gosh bonds, thousands of different weapons, it's nothing special. The weapon system, the weapon selection was very low, there's not many weapons you could buy, it's just like the same thing as CB, there's not many weapons you can buy. Again, buying parts, not like you could buy much, it's just not very much you could buy. You could buy tons of items and tons of those um, objects so you could level up your buy. You could get that in other pieces for tuning and other items of such, but 
other than that, the shop is just a shop. You can buy tickets, which to this day, I still don't know what you do with tickets. Someone's gonna call me an idiot for not knowing what to do with tickets. I still don't know, and, I, and I've read the thing several times. I just don't know what to do with tickets. It's just something I don't know what to do. I just buy them, because it's like, oh, oh, I have, a, I have a ton of tickets, so I remember just, just buy more, and I'm just gonna purchase them. There you go, I, I don't know what to do with tickets. I never knew what to do with tickets. I'm just saying. Tickets are one of those things I, I just didn't know what to do with, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, yeah. Another thing I liked was the Unlike Cosmoloid shop. Now, if you didn't know, this is actually how you get your Cosmoloids from this shop. Which you just buy them, some bots cost RT, some bots were just UC. Pretty cheap, you can just get whatever you want. Some of them were cheap, some of them were expensive. And you, you actually had the opportunity to buy all three main Cosmoloids in the shops. You can do the same thing in the Japanese one, but you have to be a certain level to get them. Which is something I recommend if you want to continue playing the game, definitely install the Japanese one. Granted, it won't be in English, but I still recommend it. Next thing is the Cosmic Prize Shop, which you could get different things. If you have coins or tickets, you could get more of these uh, items that you could use to level your bot. You could get other such items that you need it. It was a very cool thing. Again, I say cool a lot, but it was a very well made imp imp implementation of something that you could use. I did like the wish system, it really was cool. Now last, but certainly not least, Ivy. During the story mode, Ivy was a very great help. And there were actually missions where you had to fight Ivy in a battle, and there were also missions where Ivy really was a backup to you especially in one mission which would happen later on where you had to fight this giant monster and let me tell you ivy and reyna backing you up along with that other robot that was a tough battle and ivy was a very very helpful bot during that battle if you got the far enough in the game you know what i'm talking about then you you'll know what i'm talking about ivy was a help even though that guy was a boss and it took me three turns to take that thing tries to talk that take that thing down but she was a really helpful character. Another thing is this area. This is where I'm gonna leave the video off. This area was just massive. You could just, it was like the second area of CB and I wanted to explore it. I always wanted to explore it. I always liked how this was a cityscape and, and it actually in certain uh, missions or battles you get to come here and fight in this place, which fighting in this place was really cool because the cities gave you a lot of cover during battles. So whenever someone would attack you, you have all these giant cities for cover. Like you could hide, you could attack, especially during the main uh, mission parts, which was really cool. You actually came in sometimes the mission parts to do some missions here, which is pretty cool. It was just a giant area, which was pretty cool. It's just awesome, man. It's just uh, it was just, it was just fantastic. Everything about the game was just fantastic. That's what I like. Everything about the game was fantastic. Granted, there were a lot of downfalls, a lot of bad issues, a lot of things that weren't perfect, but nonetheless, it was an okay game. Personally, if you want to continue playing it, I definitely, definitely recommend you install the Japanese version. Just, It's just something you should do if you want to continue to play Cosmic League, aka Cosmic Break 2. Granted, it won't be in English. Now, I'll give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts. Granted, CB2 or Cosmic League, whatever you want to call it, English or whatever the heck you want to call it, it wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't the sequel that we all wanted. But granted, some things it did were amazing. We got ideas and different things that we otherwise would have never gotten in CB. Which, in my opinion, that's pretty well done. They did some things. And by the way, Cosmic if you're League a CB fan and you're salty, and you need to know this, during April first through the 11th and if you play cb and constantly and you both log into those counts every day through those through those days not every day if you log into those days you're gonna get a package cosmic league cosmic break is gonna give you a pack so if you already have a cb account and you play cosmic league they're gonna give you a premium package and one dx twin so you can spend so you can exchange at the dx shop in cosmic break the original so in the end you're going to get something for your time, for your effort, you're gonna get a coin. I know a one DX coin will not amount to all the robots you're gonna lose, but in the end, you're getting something. In the end, Cosmic Break wants to, I mean, in the end, Cyberstep 
wants to give you give you something for your time and effort for your admiration of the game. Also, if you want to continue playing it and you're really and you really just want to play cognitively, I will leave a link in the description and you will be able to play the Japanese version. So, as I close this video, I want you to give a like on this video because it took a lot of effort. And one more time, let's say goodbye to the Cosmic League. Not as a, not that it's sad, more that it was a pretty well game, well made game. So anyway, guys, this is Shine TAD. Signing out and goodbye, and thank you for watching this video.